What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, also go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and uh, click that notification bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, y'all. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope everyone is doing well. And shout out to all of you all who hit me up on this particular topic. People were sending me, you know, comments and sending me, you know, messages. Dawson, there's been an update in the case. And I thank you all. I, I know there's an update in the case. I knew it when it happened. Uh, you all remember the story I did, uh, the last story I did, actually, of the pastor who was wanted for sexual assault on a teenage boy, the pastor out in Camden, Arkansas. You all remember the story on March 14th, a teenage boy reported that 41 year old pastor, bishop, apostle, minister, whatever his title is, uh, Philip Michael Gordon sexually assaulted him according to the police report for the, from the Camden Police Department. All right. Now I have to say that. Now people want to come at me on this topic, but you can uh, get the police report at the Camden Police Department and you can also talk to the people at ABC7 on your side. Y'all don't go talk to them, but y'all want to run over here and talk to me. I'm still going to report the news again as we were. Pastor Gordon had been mentoring the teen to help him cope with anger problems and had picked him up to go to his house, according to the report and what the young boy said, allegedly. While at Pastor Gordon's house, the teen said he got tired and went to lay down on the couch, but the couch had stuff on it. So Pastor Gordon reportedly told the teen to go to his bedroom and go to sleep on his bed. The teen stated that when he woke up, Pastor Gordon was performing oral sex on him. The teen said he hit Pastor Gordon in the head before telling him he had to go, according to the teen and the police report. All right. When Pastor Gordon dropped the teen off to his residence, he reportedly said, don't tell anyone. The teen was taken to the police department for examination and a warrant was issued for Pastor Gordon's arrest on June 16th. Pastor Gordon surrendered to the police department this week and was held in the county jail. Pastor Gordon is charged with first-degree sexual assault. Now, I'm going to let you all watch this video, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. And you all know me. I'm Dawson, and I won't hold back. The Camden minister accused of sexually assaulting a teen has been released from police custody. Philip Gordon had his first court appearance and was released on a $25,000 signature bond. The judge also ordered Gordon have no contact with the victim, no word yet, on Gordon's next trial date. All right, y'all. Now, let's go in. Now, you all heard in that news clip that Pastor Philip Gordon had his first court appearance on Wednesday and was released on 25,000 signature bond. The judge also ordered Pastor Gordon to have no contact with the teen victim. And as of yet, there is no word on the next trial date. But uh, I'll keep you all up to date on this particular case. Now, let me say this. I am glad that Pastor Gordon turned himself in because they were looking for him for four days, even though this was all on the news out there and people in Camden were hitting me up saying, I know the family. Yes, Dawson, it's been everywhere. People who used to live in Camden, Arkansas, who were at other, in other parts of the United States were saying, Dawson, it's a small town, but it's everywhere. It's gotten back to me. Some family members have called me and talked about it. I'm glad that he turned himself in. Now, some of you all wrote in the comments and you asked, you said, Dawson, this happened in March. Why is the pastor just getting a warrant for his arrest now? Uh, you're going to have to ask the Camden Police Department that. But all I can say on that is better late than never. But to the mother's credit, <laughs> to the mother's credit, let me tell you all this. The mother, when this incident happened to her teenage son, her son, the mother did not wait a day. She didn't wait a couple of weeks. She didn't wait months before she went and she took him to the police department and filed a complaint. She went within the span of about maybe two to three hours and they performed a rape kit on this teen boy and they also took other swabs. So I just want to commend the mother for doing that. Now, I will keep you all up to date on this case when uh, further information comes out or if Pastor Gordon uh, has a statement. I'll keep you all up to date. And people in Camden, uh, Arkansas, you all stay in contact with me about this case. If the victim's out there and you want to talk or his mama want to send me an email, y'all get to Dawson. Hit me up. All right. Now, let me say this. Pastor Gordon is innocent until proven guilty. I'm just happy that he turned himself in. And this is what the victim said happened to him allegedly. So I just want to put that out there. But I also want to say this. Many times when young boys come out and say that they were, you know, touched or this happened to them, they were turned out or sexually assaulted. A lot of times, especially in the church, we don't want to deal with that. We brush it under the rug and, you know, just, oh, it happened when they were younger. Oh, you know, it'll be, oh, it'll be all over in the morning. You know, stuff like that. 
And I'm not laughing at this situation because I'm laughing because as a uh, a person who worked with Department of Children and Family down here in Florida, I saw that when it came to religious families, how sexual abuse happened. Mama saw it happen. Daddy knew it happened. Church folks knew it happened. And they kept it. Oh, we prayed and we asked God for forgiveness. But y'all, y'all. You still got to get the child counseling. You still got to deal with the the perpetrator. You still got to deal with it. We don't like talking about that when it comes to young boys. If it's young girls, oh, yeah, yo, we got to do this. Oh, we got to protect them. Oh, come here, look. Come here, sugar. Oh, yeah, grandma going to protect you now. But who? What, what happens when it's the young boys who stand up and say that? Even when it comes to prison rape, men who are being raped in prison. Y'all don't like talking about that. But I know correction officers that I know personally who tell me who've had to transport men to the hospital. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't want no truth. Y'all want to talk about Jay-Z and Beyonce, Cardi being offset. Y'all don't want no truth. It's easy to talk about celebrity news. Oh, it's easy. But your reality, your reality, going to hit you every time. Not Beyonce's reality. Not Offset's reality. Yours. Now, let me go ahead and get off this topic. Y'all know how I get when I get talking about, you know, you know, the victims and all that kind of stuff. Look, take care of yourself and each other. And y'all get out of situations, relationships, friendships, out of religious institutions where people are manipulating you, taking advantage of you, talking to you any kind of way, verbal abuse, spiritual abuse. You all don't have to take that. You don't have to take that. Oh, well, I'm just going to pray and see what the Lord say. Well, the Lord told me to tell you to take up your bed and walk up out of it. The time is now. It's not time. It's high time. When you going to do it? When you 90? Please. People making you think you can't live without them. Psh, watch. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. We're going to live and we're going to be all right and we're going to take care of these kids. That's what we're going to do. I've been doing this for years on YouTube. I appreciate it. Shout out to all the people who call and check on me. Sh Sunshine Z, Aunt Deborah. All you people, I appreciate you all and others uh, who uh, send, you know, messages and all that kind of stuff. You all tell me some of your most, oh my God, some of the stories you all tell me, uh, it, it gives me fuel to do what I do. And we're going to continue to stand up for the victims. And shout out to all the other YouTubers in this sector who stand up for the victims as well. I'm not the only one. And I definitely thank my brothers and sisters who are on YouTube who do this type of uh, work, ministry, calling, whatever you all want to say. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Y'all take care of yourself and each other, and I will keep you all up to date on this case. You all be good. Have a great day. Peace.